No. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I recorded to look right here, the winged eyeliner and red lips. So if you want to see how I achieved this look, just keep on watching. So I'm starting this with my brows already on and my eyelids already primed. Grab some tape and just outline the shape that we want to create with our wing. That way we don't mess up and it's pretty much foolproof. So all I'm doing is lining up this paper tape with the same angle that the under eye creates. And this paper tape does not have a strong adhesive so it's not going to pull your skin when you take it off. Next up for a really simple eye, I'm just going to go in with my Naked palette. An oldie but a goodie. Does anyone else remember the tiny little mirror they put in the Naked palette? <laughs> and I'm just going to take the shade Buck, which is this medium brown shade here, and I'm going to put that in my crease. I'm just grabbing a fluffy tapered blending brush and this is the Morphe 505 brush and then I go in with Buck and just brush it into my crease. I grabbed a smaller blending brush and this is the Morphe M139 and I'm going to go into this Pro Contour Palette by Profusion. I'm just going to take this dark contour shade right here and I'm gonna use it as an eyeshadow. Just dip my brush in there a little and go back along my crease just a tad lower than what we put buck. Next for the middle eye shade I'm gonna grab a pretty much a flat shadow brush and some tart shape tape concealer and I'm gonna carve out a little line so we have some extra dimension. If you just want to carve out like a half moon shape and leave the outer V dark. If it doesn't work out perfectly, it's fine. You can always go back in. Kind of sharpen up the line with some more dark shadow or concealer, either one, whichever one you feel you need to go back in with. Alright, now that those are both semi-cut, we're going to go in with this ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the shade Get Lucky. And I'm just going to put that all over that area we just cut out with our concealer. And go ahead and wipe off the brush we use for the concealer and just use that same brush just to pack on this Super Shock Shadow. So now that we have the gold placed, we're just going to go in with the shade Smog in the Naked 2 palette and go over the gold shade. Just to change up the hue, it's a little too gold for me right now, and this will just balance it out and make it more of like a champagne color. We're going to go back in with that Sigma E55 brush and grab Buck one more time. And we're going to put this right on the edge where the gold ends and it's going to help buffer that transition a little bit. Alright, go into your Pro Contour again and get that last dark shade one more time and put that on the very outer edge and blend it into the buck shade. And then once I have that where I want, before I go on to blend, I'm just going to grab some more and put it just right on the tip of the brush and drag it back up into that crease. M139 brush, I'm just going to blend out the other one. Let's stay all day eyeliner and then we are going to use that to just draw the line for our eyeliner. So I'm just going to... See how high I want it, and I kind of want it right where this transition is, um, right where the crease area is, so I'm just going to, I pretty much start on the tape and just draw a line angled down from there. This is going to be pretty dramatic. 
is hurting from this, Melanie. So I'm gonna finish drawing it down. And then I come in from the inner corner and just connect it. NYX, of course, the NYX matte liquid liner in black. And since I already did that line, basically all you have to do now is just fill in the line. So it's pretty much like a coloring book. You just fill in where the gaps are. For the perfect red lip, we have a three-step process. And we're going to start with a lip liner. So for that, I have this matte pencil. This is matte lip pencil in the shade Brick. And I'm just going to use that to outline my lips and prepare them for the next steps. Next step, we have a liquid lip, and this is ColourPop in the shade Creeper. It's probably one of my favorite liquid red lipsticks at the moment, so I'm just going to apply that over the lip liner. Ruby Woo Red Lipstick. I'm just gonna go over the outside to get that real velvet matte feel we want, and it also will deepen it up a little bit. Okay, all nighter setting spray. Finished look. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment.